What's up, Guam? Dave Delgado here for KUAM Sports. Thanks for watching. On the show tonight, Frank the Crank Camacho. We're chopping it up, talking about his COVID experience. Being a professional athlete during the pandemic, you tested positive during training camp and had to withdraw from your fight a few months ago. Uh, what was your initial thought and what was the game plan to beat the virus? Yeah, so when I got the call that uh, I tested positive for COVID uh, during fight week, I was super bummed, you know, man, I was getting ready to cut weight. It was, it was a good weight cut. Fortunately, I didn't have any that are too crazy symptoms. Um, I had a little runny nose. I really just thought it was uh, the, the air quality because of the fires in California, or it was super dry in Vegas compared to Guam. I was super bummed, you know, training camps are expensive, you know, I'm away from family and I don't want to fight and, and spread the virus to, to, to my opponent and to, to everyone, you know. So the UFC gave me the option of either uh, my 10 day quarantine at a hotel in Vegas, or I was gonna, uh, they're gonna get me a car to drive back to California to, um, to home quarantine. Well, being in the UFC and preparing for fights, going through so many tests for COVID, was it challenging mentally to stay on top of training? having to get swabbed all those times and still wondering about the results? Uh, no, you know, I was, I was in the mindset of really, uh, man, this is the day and age, bro. You know what I mean? Like, well, we're, you're going to be getting tested. You know, we got to take all the precautions needed, but yeah, it didn't bother me one bit. I, I, I was really focusing on the things that I could control. You know, I could control my training. I could control me uh, going to going to practice. I could control me waking up in the morning, going for my morning runs, eating good, you know, drinking, hydrating with all my water. So, uh, you know, getting swabbed all the time. Yeah, it kind of sucked, but um, yeah, I was I was mentally prepared for it. Staying in shape and working out, uh, taking vitamins and supplements. Do you think that helped out in your recovery? Oh, for sure, man. If anything, I think because of of how you know of the way I take care of my body being an athlete, because of that, the virus didn't hit me hard at all. You know, I, if anything, I, you know, I, I tell people all the time is try to be the worst host for any virus or for, for any disease for that matter. You know what I mean? Like I was just trying to, uh, like, I was just visualizing it, like COVID coming into my body. I was like, ah, oh, man, I can't attach myself to anything. You know what I mean? Like whatever. So just be, be the, be the worst host for, for COVID-19 and just be the worst host for any disease, you know, for that matter. The holiday season here, while we all want to loosen up, visit friends and family, it talks about face-to-face -face learning and non-contact sports, hopefully making a return in the early part of 2021. Now is not the time to let your guard down. 100%. Uh, you know, let's, let's continue to... Uh, let's, let's continue to, to, to do what we can to, to, to get rid of it. You know, I mean, you know, there's, but, and, and I feel, I feel like one of the best ways to do that is to take care of yourself and take care of your, your family's health the best that you can, you know, and be responsible to, you know, not spreading it to someone that, you know, potentially cannot, um, fight the disease, you know? So, uh, yeah, this is a this this is where you don't put your 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 guard down, you know. Just keep your hands up and and still continue to fight. Well, for anyone out there that did test positive, their experience could have been life changing and may still have lingering issues after getting over the virus. What advice can you offer from your experience? Man, my experience. I truly believe, man, that my 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 activity level, my you know, being active. Uh, hydrating and dude, probably 70 to 80 percent of my success with with COVID was nutrition dude I was just eating good you know what I mean like 2200 calories a day like uh you know some people you know some people eat 2200 calories a, a meal you know that you look at a, a, at, a, at a Thanksgiving plate sometimes that's 2200 calories right there so uh I I really I really Owe it to 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 my health and and the time when I did get COVID. You know, I was I was in peak shape. I was getting ready for a big fight, and I was eating good. I was optimal. You know, also I was, like again, like like I said again, I was the worst host for for COVID. Um, yeah, I just really highly recommend uh, people just taking ownership of their health. You know, and uh, doing everything they can. Eat healthy, nutritious food. Uh, 
lots and lots of water. Um, you know, I like to say, drink your calories, don't eat your calories. So, um, you know, those, those, those big milkshakes, man, put those things away, whatever, you know what I mean, man, drink your calories, drink two, I drink two gallons of water a day. I just pounded like almost half a gallon just, and it's only almost nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, uh, take your supplements. My supplements, I just, I don't even take crazy supplements, man. I just take my multivitamins. I take vitamin C, vitamin D, and a wellness formula, and um, fish oils, you know, just, just your basics. And sleep, sleep, rest, get, you know, get, get that seven to eight hours of sleep, and, um, and, and a positive mindset that really will go, will really just take you far. When you're battling something, like COVID mentally, you got to think that you are going to beat it and you are going to get over. It. Oh, for sure. For sure. You know, and, and, you know, unfortunately a lot of people are, are, are not as fortunate, you know, as, as like with health wise with the, as being an athlete, but I, I am as an athlete and shoot, you know, it, you know, it as well. Like, man, that the, the mental side of, of just the positive affirmations of, Hey man, I'm going to get through it. I'm going to win. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to beat this thing. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to, it's that positive affirmations really just help uh, with the success of really anything, you know, and then this time the battle was COVID. So just, and, and it just really just helped my, uh, my, my mental and emotional state. I was able to talk to my family and, and just be like, Hey man, okay, we're going to get, you know, so like, I mean, it, for, for me, honestly, though, I, I was just so blessed, man. I was so lucky that, I didn't really feel anything with COVID, honestly. I just got a runny nose and then I lost taste and smell. You know, some people uh, tend to get like super body aches and fevers and I didn't get nothing. You know what I mean? I was, I was so lucky. I was really a bad host for it. Well, what's next for you? I see your family growing, baby on the way. Yeah. You still have time to push positive vibes and use your platform to continue to talk about COVID and other main issues? Um, you know, just, just continue to, to be the island boy that I am. You know, every day I try to spend as much time with my family. Like, see, I got, I got the, I got the homeschool for my four-year-old uh, after this. You know what I mean? Um, and uh, we got another one. We got a little one on the way. Just, just staying, just, just staying as active as I can. Spending as much time with the family, especially during the holidays. You know, and we're looking at probably, we're definitely looking at a next year early, early next year return. Yeah, so I'm, so I'm just super stoked about that.